planning plants are ideal for framing your front door and enhancing the look and feel of your home. If you're wondering which type to choose, check out this small selection, from scented varieties to structural evergreens. For a quintessential country look, opt for a climbing rose. Plants like this will need a structure behind them for support, you can either use a system that involves wires attached to vine eyes on the wall, or some form of trellis. To avoid the rose covering the whole house, it's a good idea to choose a less vigorous climber. All roses usually need at least 6 hours of sun per day to bloom and avoid disease. However, most will tolerate partial shade as long as they are exposed to at least 4 to 5 hours of sun a day. Good winter structure around a door can be in the form of evergreens, like the one here. Pyracantha is a great workhorse of a plant that can be trained against a wall and an entrance, and is attractive to pollinators. With these plants, you'll be blessed with flowers in early summer, bunches of red, orange and yellow berries, and glossy green foliage. Pyracanthas do best in full sun, otherwise they'll produce fewer berries. Wisteria is a long-lived plant, and the long racemes of purple-scented flowers are spectacular against the front of a house. There are also white, and even pink, cultivars, although some may not flower as freely. As wisteria grows, it will need good support for its strong, woody stems. If you're growing it up the front of a house, it's a good idea to treat it like an espalier, fasten stout, horizontal support wires to sturdy vine eyes, screwed into the wall at 45 cm intervals. As wisteria stems fatten, they can prize trellis away from walls, so remember to untangle them frequently during the winter. Try to choose a grafted plant, as it's more likely to flower from an early age. Wisteria needs sun, so plant against a south or west-facing wall, don't waste your time trying to grow it against a shady north or east-facing one. Fragranced evergreen Trachylospermum jasminoids, jasmine, does best in sun, but will grow in some shade, as long as the area is sheltered. It has white, scented, star-shaped flowers with leaves that turn a crimson color in the winter. Make sure you give this plant good support, as it will twine itself around anything, self-clinging. The white sap can irritate the skin, so wear gloves if you do prune it back in spring. There are some 300 species of clematis to choose from, with a variety of pruning times, so choosing the perfect one for your front door can be quite overwhelming. All clematis prefer to have their roots in the shade and their heads in the sun, but some are more tolerant of shade than others. Clematis montana is really vigorous, and much better suited to growing on a shed than around a door, as it tends to take over. However, it can be good for north-facing walls, as it can grow in quite dense shade as long as there's a light source for it to climb towards. Clematis viticella are good companions for roses, but it's best not to mix plants that need to be pruned at different times around a door, as you'll end up with a tangled mess. This variety will be okay in any aspect and even in a pot. A good clematis to try for a shady area is Prince Charles's. Thanks for watching my video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Well, see you in the next videos.